You might not realize it immediately, but there's actually water in the air all around us. Besides ice or water, there's actually water vapor. Humidity is actually a measure of the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere around us. And we're going to be trying to measure that humidity today. Humidity is really interesting actually because at different times, humidity changes a lot. For example, during the summer, humidity actually rises a lot as there's a lot more water in the air, while in winter, there's actually much less. Today, we'll be trying to build a hygrometer, which might be a big word, but it basically just means a machine that measures the amount of water in the air. So for those interested, there's actually two types of humidity. One, relative humidity, is relative to the temperature and elevation in the air. So even if there's the same amount of water, if it's hotter or colder, the relative humidity for the hotter temperature would actually be lower because there can be more water in the air. This is different for absolute humidity, which is the same no matter what. So as long as there's the same amount of water physically in the air, the absolute humidity will be the same. However, relative humidity is the one that actually matters the most because it will affect how you feel when you go outside. For this module, we'll need a few simple household items. Scissors, tape, a stick of gum, a push pin, toothpick, and any cardboard box works perfectly for this, as you need a strong base to, st to stab the toothpick into. All right, so the first thing we'll do actually is unwrap the gum. We don't actually need the gum, as we're actually looking for the foil paper wrapper. So we can just put this over here, and once we have the wrapper, we're in a good spot. All right, so let's fold it out. Fold it out first, and let's use our scissors to cut it and create an arrow pattern at the top of it. This is what we're gonna use in order to demonstrate the amount of water in the air. I've also already done this, but using the push pin, stab a hole into your cardboard box, and we're gonna use this to put the toothpick into later. All right, so the next thing we'll do is actually take our tape, grab it, let's just find the edge, and let's try and get like about, let's try and get about a two inch piece of tape. Doesn't need to be super long, just needs to be long enough that you can put it around the gum wrapper. All right, so now that we have this, let's also fold this here and put the gum wrapper and the tape together. And we're gonna wrap it around our toothpick. Make sure to try to wrap it as tightly as you can right now, as unwinding it is gonna be what demonstrates the amount of water. All right, now that we have the edge, let's peel it back a little bit. And, and there we go. Let's push it back a little bit, and we should have almost a type of arrow at the very end of it that we pull back. This will demonstrate the amount of water in the air. The air. I need my starting mark, so I'm going to line it up with where my pointer is right now. And all I'm doing is putting a little line. Now this hygrometer works on a really simple concept, an idea. If there's more moisture in the air, this little foil pointer is going to want to unravel. It's going to want to open up. So I'm going to put another line over here, and I'm going to write an H next to it, because that means it has high humidity, high moisture in the air. And it's going to want to actually curl tighter if there's low humidity. So I'm going to put another line here and write an L. So now I have a really simple hygrometer. But does it work? moving slowly. It's moving more. It's coming around the bend. It's at H. 